Okay, I've removed the burn tube from my FEMA engine reeking gasifier. Can't see much inside there, it's kind of dark. If we open the door, we can see where the burn tube would end. Well, maybe you can. There's the, uh, the grating bowl. I've taken the burn tube out with a view to making some changes to the design of the gasifier. Excuse me, sweetie. Yeah, you come to help, have you? That's good. The changes are aimed at attempting to improve the gasifier from the status of a femur to that of um, an invert. I'm acting on some ideas given to me by a good friend of mine, Terry, in Canada. What I've done, based on the advice I've received, is made up this restriction here that fits into the end of the burn tube so that actually slides up inside there to the point where it's completely hidden just as it sticks out and I've also made up some jets these are just mild steel so I don't know if they'll last very long there are three of them inclined about 60 degrees down into the burn zone based on an idea by Stefan Abades um, now, because I couldn't go making holes in my stainless steel tube here because I don't have the ability to weld that, I've taken the idea instead of running the air tubes or air feed lines all the way to the top. The idea is that this is where the gasifier's top normally is, where you normally drop wood in at the top of a femur. This part's inserted instead. So we now have our air inlets, and over here is a fuel port. The inconvenient part of it is that after you put some fuel in, I have to put this wooden top on. There we go. That goes on there like that to stop air from getting in by places other than these air um, feed tubes. Now, uh, that suggests based on um, how this all fits together that my burn zone is now about here where this little pony's nose is do you mind sweetie i'm actually trying to make a professional high quality uh video here the extras you just can't get 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 good extras these days all right so looking up inside this if i can see oh yeah you can sort of see in there that's where the nozzles would finish, around about nine or eight or nine inches short of the top, or the bottom I mean, of this tube. So that would be, if we uh, had this thing in, uh, if this was glass and you could see through it, the nozzles would end about here relative to the restriction cup. And I'm hoping that this is where the burn zone would be, fed by air that I can control, turning this thing into an invert of a kind. At the moment, the nozzle hole area is 6% of the whole area of the restriction here. And this restriction actually, of course, sits over a grate to stop all the material from falling through. I um, don't actually know if this will work. Oh, donkey! I just cleaned over there! As I say, you just cannot get good help these days. Well, I'm hoping this will actually work and allow this gasifier of mine to produce clean gas. Um, I've had a good degree of success with this project where I can actually start the engine as easily as if it were running on gasoline. Trouble is though, after a few hours, the engine gets gunked up with um, tar and all sorts of other rubbish. And um, that's not really a sustainable situation. So, perhaps the folks have ideas as to whether that idea um, will actually work. That will be reasonably great, as I don't think I've seen an example of it before. Cheers, fellas.